Dear students, greetings from Dr. T. Sindhil Murugan, Associate Professor and Head Department of Information Technology, Kakathi Institute of Technology and Science Surangal. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the pointers and character strings. How the pointer is working in character strings that we are going to discuss in this video lecture. So in this video lecture, this is week 13, lecture 1, classroom discussion topic 37. We are going to discuss about pointer and character string. So how the pointer is working in character strings that we are going to discuss in this video lecture. Lecture outcomes. After completion of this lecture, student will be able to demonstrate the use of pointer while using character strings in C program. Okay. So in the last video lecture, we are discussed about pointers and array. How the pointer is working in array, in single dimensional array and multi dimensional array. Okay. So we know how to create the array of pointers that we are discussed. Array of pointers P, then we will create 10 pointers. So, like that, array of pointers we are created, we are assigned more strings, table of strings also we are used for that. So, in single dimensional array, how it is working, in multi dimensional array, how it is working, we are discussed in the previous lecture with the sample programs and examples. So in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about pointers and character strings. So normally we know what is strings. Strings is collection of or combinations of characters. So normally we are writing string as a character array. Okay. So we can treat it string as a character array. What is character array? How we are declared the character array? So which type? The, it should be a character and we will give the array name. So example here <clears throat> string one so like that i will take okay so this array how how many characters we will, we will declare this is size of the array we know so how many characters we want we can give like this. so this is character array so normally in c programming we are using strings using this type character array type okay so in this example, character string phi equal to directly we can assign the values. Okay. So if it is the string means we can use the double quotes. If it is not string, it is the character means we can use the single quote. So single quote means how we will write here. Yeah. String of five characters maximum open brace. Good. G. O. O, D. Good. Then end of the string, we must be include null characters. Okay. So in string, the system automatically consider that null character. But when we are giving the characters, we must be include null character at end of the string. Okay. C supports an alternative method to create string using pointer variable of type char. Okay, the, the type character, we can use the pointer also to use strings. How we can declare? So already we know pointer. If the, any variable declared as pointer means we must be use this asterisk symbol. Okay, so this is the character type. We are created one pointer with asterisk. And the, we are assigning this put. So that means we are not declared array here. Simply we are using the pointer. What it will do when we are assigning the pointer to the string, the pointer is pointing to the first character where it is stored. Okay, in the memory location, it may be stored like this. Individual byte it will take. Okay. So if it is taking like this, the first, this pointer is pointing to this location. Okay, str is pointing to this location. <clears throat> Clear? That is we have to understand. We are not created the string. For this string, we are creating the pointer. 
the pointer is pointing to the first character of the string. Clear? So now the pointer uh, <clears throat> pointing to the first character of the string. So how it is working? Okay. So we can use runtime assignment also. How it is working? Okay. So if example C here, we are declared the individual character. Like we are created the one pointer. We are assigning that string to this string pointer. So this is also same like uh, creating the pointer to pointing to the string, particular string. Okay. So but <clears throat> string one is equal to good is not a string copy. Okay. It is not copy the content. We are assigning one pointer to pointing to the particular string. Okay. So we must be remember it. Don't forget it. So I told you know this how it is finding. So the uh, string whenever we are given the string, it will be stored ending with null character. Okay. So the string good is there. The ending with null character is there. When we are creating the str as a pointer, it is pointing to the first character where it is stored in the memory location. Okay. <clears throat> we can print the content of the string string one using either print of or put functions as follows. How we can print it? So whatever we are creating pointer, the pointer is pointing to the particular location. But the string one is there, no? That string one has some values. That value will print it using this print of statement. Or if in case more character means you can print uh, string one as put as function. Okay, put as function is printing that string till uh, whatever you are given in that particular line of the input. Okay. So although string one is a pointer to the string, it is also the name of the string. Both we have to remember. Okay. It is also the pointer. It is also name of the string also. So we do not use this indirection of the, because of that only we are not using asterisk symbol while we are using <coughs> Printing that string, normally we can use asterisk. If in case printer uh, integer type means, we can use a percentage D and here asterisk the pointer variable we will give for printing the value. But while we are printing the string, we are not using asterisk. Why? Because both the names are same. The pointer as well as name of the string also same. That's why we are not using asterisk symbol to represent that. How we are using the single dimension array, same procedure, it will be there. The string means individual character, it will take a byte and it will be continuously allocated. The finder is pointing to the first location of the particular string. Now we will see the program, example program. So first we know that the main function we have to write. Then we have to declare one character, uh, finder, one finder with the character type. The finder is pointing to name. Okay, the pointer name, uh, the variable of the pointer is name. Okay, so we have to calculate the length of the string. Maybe for that I declared integer length means how many characters it's how. Okay, so another thing is I have to create another pointer. The pointer is pointing to name. Okay, so already the name is one of the pointer. The pointer is pointing to the name pointer. So name equal to daily. So what is the meaning of that? This pointer is pointing to first character of this string. Okay. So name name of the string also Delhi as well as the pointer is pointing to the first character of this Delhi. So if you am printing it, percentage yes, name means what it will print? It will print name means so Delhi it will print. Okay. So then we have to count how many characters is there in the string. So how we can calculate the pointer will reach the null character. So normally I said, no, if Delhi is there, how it will be stored? So the five character is there means D E L H I. So last character is null character. So still the pointer is from moving to first character to till null character, it will be moved. That's why we are given this condition. When the pointer is not equal to null means, what we have to do? So we can count it, how many characters are there, okay? So 
whatever it is stored in that it will be printed. Stored address is it will print. And each address it will print. Finally, it will count how many characters are there. We are printing what address, what character it is stored. So if you are not using this line, this line is how what what purpose we are using? We can use what is the character it is there and where it is stored because the pointer is pointing to particular location. So D is stored in some location now that the memory address will be printed. D store, is stored at address, one address will be printed. Then next to E like that, it will print. So finally, the pointer will move to last cell. So till if it is not null means it will move. That's why we are using CPTR plus plus. This is means it is not count plus plus. Uh, the integer, it is not an integer variable. Okay. So the CPTR equal to zero. CPTR plus plus we are written means it will count how many characters coming. But what we are doing this individually if plus plus means the pointer first it will print this location. Then plus plus means first location to next location. It will point into the next location. Again plus plus means next location. Again plus plus means next location. Again plus plus means next location. So if the location is not equal to null, then it will be plus plus. When it is reached the null, what happen? It will stop. Okay. So length equal to CPTR minus name. Why we are minus name we are using? So example, so that name is there, no? It's how ending with null character. So the pointer, by character is there. Next it is pointing to the sixth location. So we want to print one location. We have to minus one value, you know. So for that reason, it will use uh, <coughs> CPTR minus name. So the null character we have to consider. We don't consider for length of the string. So now we can we can print length of the string using length variable. Okay. So now we'll see the output first. It will <coughs> print Delhi because the initial uh, statement is there now. So this statement, so this statement is working here, Delhi. So next loop will be start. Okay. So first D D is stored at address is 54. So in this program, we will execution the address is 54. So now, next character E, pointer is pointing to E. So next character L, it is pointing to next character. So next pointer is moving to H. So H is printed. Now the pointer is moving to I. So I is printed. So next it is a null character. While the null character is there means it will stop the loop and it will find how many characters are there minus the pointer is pointing to sixth place so six minus one five it will be printed okay so uh, you, uh, so now you hope i hope you understood how it is working even we will see these examples if you are declared like this care absent uh, cptr equal to name we are given what will be happen okay so if name is the pointer to a character, the assign the address of the first character of the name as the initial value. So whenever we are sending, initially it will take that first character of the string. So we know that we are using this while loop to count the how many characters is there. Till null character, it will check. Okay. So till the loop is terminated, pointer how the hold the address of the null character. Finally, we have to minus names for finding the length of the string. So how it is stored? I told you now the first address name is the pointer is pointing to the first character. So the find, <coughs> finding is the first character now. So uh, it is showing that 54. Okay. So why we need this pointer? So the pointer is moving each and every character while we are using the while loop. Finally, it is pointing to the location of the null character. We have to minus 59 minus 54 because first character is starting from 54. So the remaining 59 minus 54, it will print five value. Okay. So five characters are there for that purpose is used. 
So each character occupies one memory cell. That already I told each character is character occupying one byte. <clears throat> okay. In constant character string, always represents the pointers to the string. So how we can assign the values normally? So we must be assigned the values with without array. So if we are when we are creating the pointer, character pointer, the pointer don't have array because it is not values. Okay, it is creating pointer. The pointer is pointing to first location of the given string. Clear. So in this, what happened? We are creating only pointer. So we don't write like this. Char asterisk name of five. So what is the meaning? It is not five character. It will create a five pointer. So it is wrong declaration. So this is the correct declaration. Okay. So we'll declare name as pointer character and assign the name to constant character string Delhi. Okay. So what we have to remember this, if you are writing this array, we don't use directly the variable. It is wrong. Okay. So it's not work when we are writing it. We must be remember that how we are using the character array. Okay. So now it is the reflections part here. You must be answer for the question. I'll give 10 seconds times. So I hope you understood the concept. Then easily you can answer for this question. Why we do not need to use indirection operator asterisk here in string uh, pointer. Okay. Why we are using? You just uh, write answer in your notebook. Then we will check the answer. If you are properly answered, correct answer, then we will proceed further. Otherwise, you will go back and watch the video again. Then you can answer it. Okay. So your time starts now. So your time is over. So what purpose we are not using asterisk in string? Because String is a pointer to the string. It is also name of the string. Okay, that's why we are not using asterisk for mentioning pointers. Okay, so I hope you are written correct answer. Otherwise, you just watch the video from uh, first. So after understanding the concept, now you try to write the C program using pointer concepts to find the given string is palindrome or not. So we know how to calculate the length of the string and you can use the pointer to find out the given string is palindrome or not, okay? So previously you written the same program using strings, uh, string handling functions you are used. So before without string handling function using array you are did, now using the pointer you have to write this program. So then you can clearly understand what is the uh, use of pointer. Okay. So now we are end of this lecture. Uh, we have to revisit the lecture outcome. Having completed the discussion on pointers and character strings in C language, now students should be able to demonstrate the use of pointer while using character strings in C program. Okay. So this is outcome of this lecture. Uh, I hope you are enjoyed this video. Even if you have doubt, you can refer uh, textbook programming in NCC, which is authored by Dr. E. Balaguru Swami in chapter 11, Pointers. Further doubt, you can refer the weekly tutorial sheet. Even if you have doubt, you come with the doubt, we will discuss in the classroom. Thank you very much for listening this video with patience. Thank you all.